act is over. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to put this filth behind us. Oh my! Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, just calm down. Help! Here. Oh, take my hand. Ah, come on. <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No, get it away from me. Take it. Take my hand. No. Rob. <laughs> Bancroft. What's wrong? What's wrong? Websites, What's man. What's who wrong? fucking invented them? People who want to do things on the internet. God. I've been making websites since 1990. I'm going to say five, maybe four. I Was that know. before, after, or during your illustrious poker slash robot lading career? Well before ninety-four, I was in year nine. Rob um, is Mel, uh I'll Mel ask asks, how Rob's going, but he's very he's very grumpy today. What's that? Mel, Mel asks what color am I? You, you're yeah, white John now. John in the chat you're is white. seeing uh he's seeing different colors. Jeremy is green. Well, I'm yellow with black, that's normal. Uh Mel's blue. Um Dale is brown. Uh, who else here? Voyager is red. No, orange. Yeah, maybe he's got, he maybe must have hacked into some YouTube developer or something. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, Mel was white right last time I saw her. I'm talking about avatar names. Camel. Oh, good morning. What? What do you want? Did you, did you just wake up? Shut up. <laughs> we just started the show. Rob okay. is, believe it or not, uh, out of character. Rob's uh, a little grumpy today, so I'm going to try and help him out. And then I if can out grumpy that... Rob any day. Thank oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can grump you Rob right into the ground. This isn't even my final form. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say hello to the chat uh, before we get into what's grinding Rob's gear this week. We got our uh, Voyager in the house. Jeremy Burtz is here. John. Is seeing colors. Maybe you have synesthesia, John. Do you know what that is, Rob? No. Hmm. What am I, a scientist? It's <laughs> where you I see colors and sound. Yeah, you see all you see things differently. You, you see things you shouldn't. Uh Mo Biggs, how Mo Biggs. Uh, who else is here? I said Jeremy. Uh, this is gonna be a winner. I can feel it, says Dale. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch up the draw stream just a little bit to help Rob with his problems, uh, to get him out of the pit of despair that he finds himself in today. Uh, there's my lovely wife, Elkins here. Who else? Uh, Nicholas, great to see the gang's all here. Mike TV dub, anonymity, Stephen Rockwood. All right, I think we're caught up. Oh, no. Great. There's D. Hail D. Bloody legend. Noren Rad. Uh, Rob, please don't bring up Bancroft's poker career. This is going to be a rough stream as it is. Do you want to get me started on poker talk? Poker lingo? Uh, Jonah Sweets here. All right. Uh, all right. I apologize to everyone I can't say hello to. Uh, it's time to start the show, especially because Travis has sent a super chat already. Camel is starting a 90s retro grunge band. That's just how he dresses. Do you ever think, like, Camel will dress like that when he's 80? Yeah? And all the kids will yeah. be looking at old man Camel going, look at these old geezer in his Look old clothes he's he's gonna watch he's gonna play hootie and the blowfish again i promise you know <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't, know about, you know, post. I don't know about you mike i remember when i was like in like a teenager and i'm like when i'm a dad one day i'm gonna be so well dressed and fashionable and always look cool and then like you get to that age and you're like i do not give one single shit about how i look yeah it frustrates me I, all that I do. I'm okay with it. I look at this. I got this cool Avengers shirt. Yeah. You know? That looks exactly uh, like, like uh, this camel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not the same. Model, it's the same idea. You know? I yeah. saw it at Macy's. <laughs> 1977. Wow. 
Uh, I like it because it has almost everyone, but then I started looking at it and it doesn't have Punisher and it doesn't have Ghost Rider because they're not family friendly. So, yeah, Punisher hit. I can't even remember. I thought he was in the 80s. Anyway, um, Hootie and the Blowfish will get you played in horror movies. That old timey music is so creepy, says Mo Biggs. Uh, Raven says, after like 40, you wear Crocs or socks or sandals uh, because F them, that's why. I wear Ugg boots. Oh. Um, I wear Shay Danis says the only thing holding Camelback are his serial killer glasses. Really? No, that completes need, the ensemble. He doesn't know. need yeah. the glasses. He's this, he's well averse. People right? know. People know when they see me. Ninety percent chance someone in my basement. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a basement? No, that's the funny part. Yeah. That's I the irony. If- you have a backyard though. You have a swamp <laughs> with well, crocodiles. There's, there's, let me put it this way: uh, you'll never find the basement. Let's let's just say that oh. his basement is all concreted in for some unknown reason. It's like John Wick. <laughs> you got to get the sledgehammer out to find those bodies. <laughs> there's, there's no basements uh, in Florida, just like the Alamo. Yeah, not here. There's no basements here either. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, before we get started, I just want to shout out that we're simulcast on Twitch. We had a whole bunch of Twitches in here the other day, and I, I never talk about it. So we're obviously simulcast on Twitch and Rumble. So if you prefer watching over there, I won't stop you. Uh, if you do, make sure you're subbed, trying to grow those channels up. Um, All right, Rob, do you want to share screen? What have you got? What's troubling you today, my friend? It's just irritating. Why can't it make it itself? Like, come on. It does. It literally does. All right, so Rob has seen... The successes of uh, Eric July, Mandy Summers, Shane Davis, myself, Eric Saga, and he's decided, like so many others, I'm going to uh, follow is, in the footsteps of these. Is this le- Rob's little buddy website? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's a picture. <laughs> All right, on a white HTML background. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hey God! Hey God! That. Yes, that's exactly like the thumbnail. It's uncanny. All we need is like a blood eye, you know, and we're there. Yeah. Uh, what's the issue, Rob? What's the problem? You said something's not working. Default product. I I wasn't paying attention. What's Mike? Just fix it. Tell me how to make it look like your website. What do you want to do? Good. All right. Well, like you're starting. He, uh, hang on. This is this is is this this can't be the home page. This isn't the no, home page. That's the default. What the fuck's product. going on, Mike? Like... <laughs> Lord Raven, a Fisher Price, my first website. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go up there. All right. So that I'd probably change that banner out if I were you. That's probably. Don't you think? First, first cab off the rank. I'd probably change the thing from image banner. Um. All right, get something in there. There you go. There you go. Uh. Hey, <laughs> foot. What? Uh, that website looks like his wheel, says Doc. Uh, no, it doesn't. This... That's insulting to the, the, the genius that is the wheel. <laughs> Look at that Mo thing. Says this, Mo says this can't be the same Rob Arnold who invented the wheel, can it? You can do this part later. Now you've used the. It looks like you've used the same. Um, did you watch my videos? Yes. Watch my. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. So you you you. It looks like you're using the same. Uh, what is that? What are they called? Skins. What are they called? Themes. Themes. Um, what? <laughs> you like? Make it look good. I mean, you got to design it. Yeah. You got to envision in your mind what you want it to look like. The, I'll, I'll yeah, say like, straight like, up, the header like is yours, a bit... but with my pictures and my stuff on it. The he- the header, it's a bit, it's a bit nothing, isn't it? You know, like it's just white. Do you want to you want to swap that out to something? Like, why'd you go? With, why'd you choose white? You're you're the guy who hates white gutters. Um, isn't yours white? No, hold on. That's a good. That's a good opportunity to uh, 
show my website. You know, since I since I ended the campaign and upped the price to twenty five dollars, I've sold four copies. Mm. Believe it or not. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's share my screen for a sec. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of my old. Uh... Oh no, I just can bring this down a bit. No, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, away goes the overlay. Actually, I think I've got one with a Twitter handle on it. There we go. Uh, it's got. I've got color up the top, and I've got a logo. Do you not want mm. a logo? You got a nice yeah, no, logo. I can, I can do that. I can do that stuff. I can do. I guess. Okay, that stuff's fine. So what's yeah. the issue? Where's the? Uh, you got a view campaign, I guess. Okay. Uh -huh. And I've actually got like stuff. Yeah. Like <laughs> got this counter thing on the on the right. I don't even know. Oh, the counter. That. That's even... that's you obviously didn't watch the video because that's custom. I, I spoke in length about that. About how I was that, that part two or three? I'm still on part two. Mm, maybe part three. Yeah. Um okay, let's have a look. Go you go to your campaign. What does it look like? That. So that takes you to products, yeah. That's the next thing, yeah. That's yeah, where it takes you, and you've got this thing on the side here. And how how did you get the two images on yours? <laughs> like, seriously, it's like image with text. Camel is so checked out right now. I love it. Uh, He's like, can I go back to bed? He's like, sure. Yeah. It it's like, do. I thought we were doing something interesting. Rob is backsliding intellectually. He's going down, down. <laughs> <laughs> this is like flowers for Algonon if you take out the middle. Ah, oh, the frustration. Keep it there. All right. So what you're talking about is how do they get these two? Yeah. Well, you got to show it, Mike. They, they can't see. Oh, yeah. How do I get uh, these yes. two images here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, don't be frustrated. That just means you need to add more images. Mm. So add mm. more images to your product. Okay. So not there. No, that's the that's the design page. So you've got to actually go to your. Exit, exit your uh, at the top left hand corner. Yeah, up, 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 up there. Exit. Yeah, just leave it. Go to products. Left. That's your that's your product. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hit on that. Click on that. Now add more. See, you got to add more images. All right. So just, just add in. What yeah, add in a bunch. I suggest that when you do this properly. Or make all your images the same size. Uh -huh. What is camel? What are you doing with your camera there? With your phone? That is glorious. That is glorious. All right. So save that. Camel, you can just hold it there, and then you can leave. Uh, yeah, I got to find a, something to prop it up on, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, we have to. I, I know this is I know this is dreadful, Camel, but... Tedious? Rob is... Rob. Rob's about to blow a hole in the back of his head. And, and you, uh -huh. you know the frustration. Like, remember when we're setting up the... Um, the, the, the website, the, the game. Like, it's incredibly frustrating sure. when you don't yeah. know what you're doing. All right now go back so go online store yep you know you don't have to go you can just like open up you see that little eye next to online store you can just click that and it'll, it'll take you right there. uh oh d oh how are we getting super chats right now uh that's a nice photo camel and he's giving you a beer but he's given me twenty dollars thank you d hail that's twenty dollars. I think that deserves one of these. That's a, that's a significant super chat, my friend. You bloody well, like cheers, biggies. <laughs> Jasper's here, Rob. He said, "Did I miss anything good?" <laughs> no. Fine, good. Mel says, "Are we doing this right now? We're doing it. This uh, was this because was because we're doing it because didn't. I don't think I don't know if anyone else is streaming. Uh, look at Camel. That is hilarious." Hold on a sec. I gotta get rid of this. 
we also joined by Dave of Genuine Comics. Um, look, there's Camel. <laughs> He's jerking off. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm enthralled, you know, just keep He's going. He's enthralled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look, no, I mean, at, he's, he's riveted. That's pretty easy, um, I guess. Yes. So, yeah. So, is that your frustrations dissipating a little bit? Mm. Mm. It looks, it looks a little similar to mine now. So, I mean, I've added. But, Mike, how, how, when you do, you? when you do painted, death how are you gonna how are you gonna do all this section right because you've got like the weight i'm probably gonna do something a little different so if you go to um how do i do that i think i got a products yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna build this section out not this section sorry products uh, i'm gonna build this section out to be mm. like a campaign and these will be more like perks so it won't just be that you will also be able to get the book but this will be like, you know, the catch up tier or the featured perk. And this will be the, the big tier. And this will be the get that kind of thing. So you'll be able to shop them that way. Uh, I think that's how I might do it. But uh, mm. I, haven't, I haven't quite figured it out yet uh, exactly how I'm going to do it. But uh, yeah. Was there anything anything else that you were uh, frustrated with? No, was that, was that, has that been doing your head in like for four hours? Yeah, I'm like trying to add images, like f bullshit. <laughs> so done. Was that it? You good? Good. I don't oh, know. I'm was, good. That was pretty I'm... easy. Add more naked chicks, Rob. Says Norrin Rad. Yeah, you probably I'll wouldn't. Try. Um, probably wouldn't hurt. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, is there a kid listening or someone? Can someone bring in what I received today so I can show it off? I always like talk like to them, but uh, they're. They're, uh, they can hear it through the internet anyway. Um, excellent. All right. Well, if that's sorted, you don't have any more questions. We can actually get back to something interesting if you're, mm. um, if you're so inclined. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you. Look what I got today. My first ever bookmark. Oh, cool. Ooh. Yeah, I, I I went with the the people who make the trading cards, Rob. Uh, this came oh, nice. pretty quick and easy. It's very blasted out with its white light, but yeah, it looks really cool. It's glossy too. It's got a cello. You can kind you can kind of see it there. It's got a cello glaze on it, and uh, that's by. Uh, uh, it's not going to work. Ray, who sometimes is in the chat. And uh, I think he takes commission. So if you like that, uh, go hit him up at Ray underscore Rayhu. That's R-A-H-U. Uh, everyone who backs will... It's not close to both sides, China. I don't know. You crazy? Made of money <laughs> over here. I know. You don't, you don't, what do you need a double-sided bookmark? I could have gotten it glazed both sides, but I didn't put anything on the back. So um, uh, El Cheapo. Just call me El Cheapo Bancrofto. And uh, yeah, everyone's getting these until they run out. But I think I printed like 300. So I think we'll be good. But that's a, I've never done a bookmark before because I never knew where to get them printed. But now I do. Um, all right. Now, last week, I promised that we wouldn't be coloring. Um, oh, tell me you finished thing. coloring that by now. Like it's been like four, four years. You've been working on that. Thing. Camel's like shaking his head. This week oh. has been a dreadful week for productivity. Uh, I apologize to everyone. It's just been like every day something else has come up uh, that dragged me away from the computer. So uh, I've had precious little time to actually do anything. So, you, but uh, I promised last week. I promise this week, again, because <laughs> my promises are worth so much, that uh, Camel will be finishing this thing. Uh, he doesn't look like he believes me. He's like, <laughs> I believe it when I see it. No one, no one close. believes you. We're pretty damn close. Um, okay, share screen. Are you working on anything, Camel? Are you doing anything? I'm working on not blowing my lid right now. <laughs> 
You're the one who's like, take take six months of it. And I'm like, don't don't say that to me. How's it coming? Let's take a look. You could say Let's take me. a look, everybody. Yeah. So what have I what have I done since the last time you guys saw me? So I, I finished uh these two here. <laughs> Uh, we were oh, that working looks on good them now. Yeah. last week. I started chroming up Robust. I still have to uh, finish, get like the specular highlights, or as Camel likes to call them, the globs of light onto him. Uh, and then last, and then I've got to uh, sort of, so I worked a bit on this, on this, oh, why isn't it zooming? Come on. You, Camel. you know what it looks like, Mike? What? It looks like a cover that's not finished. It's getting there. Yeah. I'm Get aware. to it. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okie G. I don't believe you, but I believe in you. Angela Ooh. Curry reminds me closer than that Shane cartoon. Much closer. Uh, Jasper's laughing his ass off. Why? Because I've just been... Oh, uh, this is solid gold. Image man. Oh, he's laughing at Rob's <laughs> website. He just went, Rob, how long did you spend on that website today to get it to that point? Oh, like, I don't know, 45 minutes. I'm just like, what? why can't you let me put two images that. side by side? It's not rocket science. Yeah, you just got to figure out how they do it. Um, uh, Slavic one asks Rob or Michael or Camel. Did you see the third episode of The Last of Us? It's extremely gay. It was yes. very gay. Did you see it, Camel? Uh, so I I was watching it, and it gets to the point where uh, Big Gay Al, whatever his name is, like takes his his uh, his towel off, yeah. and I just said to my wife, "I'm all gayed out for the night. I'm good." Oh, it gets I gayer. I, I'm sure it does. I said, "You know what? We're good. Good night, everybody." I don't want anyone to talk about it though, because I did hear that it's different from the the game. I haven't played the game, so don't say anything because I still want to oh, watch yeah. it. Yeah, I still want to watch it fresh, like because I don't, I don't know what to expect. Although we got gay vibes right away, you know, we were like, mm, yeah, really. From what? At what point did you get the gay vibes? Uh, when there was another guy that he kept looking at in his hole. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. You know, I don't know. I when he started cooking for him, when he was like kind of spending a little too much time in the bedroom, when the other guy was in the shower, I was just like, "This is a little, a little much." I found it really irritating, Mike. Not not because of the whole gay thing, um, but people are going on about like on Reddit, social media, like this was the best episode. Rob, why do you still hang out on Reddit? That's a mystery to me. I, I I like it. Reddit I like is uh, there's a I, I don't know if it's Moon or Upper Upper Echelon Gaming. They've done in complete teardowns. Right, Reddit is just a, a complete haven for like alt left psychos. Mm. So you're gonna get that kind of rhetoric there. Yeah, it is. I insufferable. thought it. But was the, the, the a point very was though. Good... Hang on. The the point was that they were saying this is the best episode so far, and I'm like. No, it's not. It's not the best episode so far. Bullshit. I thought it was a very good episode of television. I don't know if it was what was needed in The Last of Us Episode 3. Uh, because the... Well, I'm not going to say anything, Camel. It had a function. You'll see it at the end. Like the function mm -hmm. of the entire episode. You'll see why they did it. And you'll think, you know, you could have just done that with uh, you, know, you know, a few sentences at some point, and we could have actually continued the story along. So that, that's what I was get, getting. I, I assume, and please don't say anything. I assume at some point, the the second gay guy is going to do something that's going to get him killed or something, and so this guy's going to have trust issues, and he's going to, you know, and then Ellie and uh, uh, Mandalorian are going to pop on. I, and he's, I can't you know, wait for you to actually watch it, Carl. I think you're going to go off. Uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that would have been good, Camel, if they if they went that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Don't don't say anything because you don't want to. Like, <laughs> That's not Camel it. Figure it out. Camel figure it out, and uh, oh, he's he, he's very cluey with that sort of stuff. So much copium. Just admit it's trash. I didn't think it was trash. No, I think it was a well made TV episode. But it was absolutely a side quest episode, which I am just, I hated them in Lost. 
Um, I don't. Yeah, like let's let's you know keep the keep the momentum going. You know. Anyway, it is All getting right. review bombed though. By the way, is it? Yeah, lots of ones. It was a. I mean, it was a. It was a lot of. It was a lot of uh, bare love. Uh, you know, between two guys. It was like a Bancroft color stream. Nothing was progressed. Says <laughs> Fuck. A lot of gayness. You know? Oh my god, that's too true. God. And hits, and here's the thing: home. is I even told my wife, I was like, "Can we just fast forward this?" And she's like, "I'm fine with it." I was like, "It doesn't make me anti-gay. I just don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, the, the, all of this, you're taking so much fucking time with it. We we." Uh, a lot of times we'll be like, let's just fast forward, especially with Netflix stuff. I'm like, you know, you got two people sitting in a room talking with, you know, master shot over the sho shoulder, reverse over the shoulder forever about nothing. I'm like, this is not good TV. I don't, I don't know why it's so prevalent. It's all the time. Like, just stop. Just stop fucking doing it. I'm so tired of it. Make something happen. Just make something happen. You know, you could have all of your gay antics. Just make it while you're doing something. I don't need you're to watch. You're not going to like this episode. Yeah. <laughs> you're not yes. going to like this episode. Yeah, next week I tell you what, we're going to get a camel. You need to do like one of those uh, videos. One of those. Oh yeah, that, it's like hot topic right now. You'd probably it'd probably do yeah. really well. Hmm. Well, enjoy it. <laughs> Yay. But my, like Mike, though, like seriously, like if the first episode are like nine, nine and a half, ten out of ten, which is what people are saying they are, there's no way that that one comes to that level. Like seven for me, seven. It's out also of 10. it's a hundred twenty. It's an hour twenty minutes or hundred twenty minutes, whatever it is. And my wife was like, "Oh, this is long," and I was like, "Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what it's about." But we're halfway through, and they're just lying in bed together. I'm like. All right. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about painting on TV? Painting? Like painting pictures. Like Bob Ross? Yeah. A bit like that. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm watching you do How do you this, feel about and... gardening? How do you feel about strawberries, Camel, in particular? How do you feel about men feeding each other strawberries? I am not going to fucking like this episode. <laughs> I'm going to fucking flip my fucking shit. Oh, God. This you is, know this what? Is the episode that's it's gonna good. Break I think it's down. great. Have more shit like this. When people drop off in droves and they have no fucking idea why, this will be why you want to call people homophobic go right a fucking head you want to call them racist you want to call them bigots you want to call them sexist go right a fucking head if you keep fucking making garbage people are going to stop watching your fucking content so do it keep going see what happens i i'm almost at the point now where i wonder if they do it purposefully because they know that the show is trash and so if they if they put stuff out like this, this Thelma thing, Thelma, whatever, that they Thelma, know yeah, is going to piss Thelma people and off. Do. Yeah. That if they know it's going to piss people off, it almost, it's like, it's like the producers, you know, they're like, we're going to make springtime for Hitler and people are going to be so outraged by it. And, you know, it'll give us reason to cancel the show. I mean, the irony was in the producers, springtime for Hitler was a mass hit, but I don't, you know, if, in return, it turns out that it is actual, like, cringe trash. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. And then and then when there's no second season and you wonder why, you can, you can, you can look at yourself. I don't think it's as bad as what everyone is saying here. I, I don't know if I... Yeah, I, I wouldn't have done it if it were my show, because I think like, let's move the story along. We've got a story to tell here. Um, it's more, you know what it was like? 
it's a bit like a Black Mirror episode. Uh, it's like a standalone story of like what would happen if two gay men lived in a in a yeah. But why do I want to watch apocalyptic? That? What, what does that have to do? Here's the thing. This this is why the Last of Us show sucks. Okay, it sucks because it's one narrative. It's Ellie and Mandalorian, and it's whatever they're doing. We're going out. We're doing this. Very rarely cuts to any subplots or like secondary characters. And if you want to do that. That's a good idea because it keeps things moving. But with fucking the gay guys and, you know, and, and uh, you know, this this town that they run, then you have to intercut that with something else. This is what's the problem with, like, progression. There's none of it. It's it's boring. Like, it's like they don't know how to tell a story. It's like, well, we're just going to literally stop everything all the momentum we've built up and we're going to sit here and we're I'm, we're going to take you on this fucking you know this 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 journey this the uh, what do they call it uh, slow burn right so I you really slow know the characters. no don't do that that's lazy it's ineffective it's boring and if you want to do that then you have to cut it with what's going on with something else and someone else. And so from what I'm gathering, it sounds like it's just, they hard stop the whole show just to tell these guys tale. I mean, does it ever cut back to Ellie like intermittent? It does. It does. It, it, well, yeah, without giving anything away, it cuts back to Ellie and Joel. And then there is a reason why, but it's not a it's not a compelling reason. It's not oh, a okay. it's not a reason like oh, there's no other way they could have done this. They could have done it literally any other way, really. They just they just chose to tell this story at this time. Yeah. So, I, again, it's hard for yeah, me to talk about without gonna... seeing it. I've seen it in plenty of other shows where I'm like, this is just trash. Slavic One says in the game. Uh, that was referred to, but it was not as explicitly gay. Yeah, I thought people didn't even, some didn't even know that they were gay in the show. They were just two dudes that lived in this town together, which you imagine would be happening a fair bit, like people band together to sort of survive. Arthur Line says, so now he's dead. I said not to say anything. What is wrong with you people? Well, I mean, right. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you did come on a channel where people are talking about it what do you think is going to happen there he's gone what i don't get mike is how they 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 cast that chick and were happy with with how her performance because she has zero emotion zero presence and i don't understand what emotion she's trying to convey when she's conveying it I don't get it. I don't get her. She's had her moments, but on the whole, I agree. I think she was, it was a wrong casting choice. She doesn't emote well. She has sort of two modes like, uh, deadpan, nonchalance, deadpan, and anger. And I, you know, I, I didn't play the game, but I watched the playthrough twice. I don't remember that being her character. She did have anger, but it wasn't like raging anger. And she, you know, it's, it's hard to say like, ah, oh, you know, cause it's a video game, but they, I think they showed emotion in it. Um, is Camel gone completely? He mm -hmm. was like, F this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marby Dog says she's conveying conveying masculine energy as all woke female heroes will do. I've seen pictures of her in real life. She does look a lot more feminine in real life than they're portraying her in this show. So, yeah. I mean, I really, I don't really think about it like that. I just think like she's she's. I just don't think it was the, the right actress for that role. Uh, and I said this when the first episode came out that the, 
uh, Sarah, she did amazing as Joel's daughter. Mm. Um, like she really sold that fear and, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm not getting that from Ellie. Enrique says the chick is a terrible actor. Just say that. Yeah. I mean, and yet that, that's who they chose. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. Um, D reckons they should have made it animated. No, I actually think like, I think, uh, Pablo is a fantastic Joel. Like that's like, he's got it dead on the scenery, the fix that they're making it, uh, like look, like it looks real. It really does look like the, the, you know, what, it, you know, whatever it was like, a the world 20 years after a friggin' apocalypse essentially so i mean i, I like i like the idea of it I, I like the twist with the whole mushroom fungus thing i own the zombies have that kind of that look to them and you know they're a bit different i think that's that's cool that's interesting i don't know man ray says uh rob and mike when are we going for that beer I don't know. Soon, hopefully. Yeah, I am so busy right now. It's just like I've never been busy as busy in my life, uh, just doing various things. Um. So hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I would actually would like to catch up with a lot of you guys here in Australia, get everyone out and, um. And uh, have a drink. Slavic one says they race swapped Sarah. Yeah, of course they did. But still, I think that actress, like, you know, nailed that that portrayal. Oh, now Camel's gone. We can talk about it. Like, they just killed the dude at the end. I mean, like, why did we watch the whole episode getting to feel and care about this character just to have them die at the end? and serve no real purpose it's a very odd choice to make like i was yeah like i was actually a bit shocked i'm gonna say like wow you spent all this time building up this you know like if you're gonna take an hour diversion to do that uh yeah, at least like have there be a legitimate reason to mm. do it. Um, so oh, I don't mean I don't know. Like again, it was a well made episode, but was it the right episode to have episode three of The Last of Us? Like, I don't think so. Joel got the battery achievement unlocked, says D. He could have gotten that battery just by going there and, you know, all sorts of things. Uh, so, yeah. I don't um, know. Romy says it's like Walking Dead went style over substance. How far did you get with The Walking Dead? Pretty far, man. I got, I got up to where, like, Carol... Carl. blew up this this um outpost with all these people in it but when she was like full-on rambo with all these yeah guns. yeah yeah i didn't yeah. think that was that far that was like season four or something wasn't it yeah, yeah i don't think you got far at all i think like, the problem i i found with there. with walking dead was like the only problems were were the the walkers or whatever they're called and people i mean they kind of just like and it was that over and over again. I mean, it's just I need something else, Mike. Give me some crazy zombies. The thing that annoyed me about um, The Walking Dead is people sort of just gave up trying to kill them. You know, mm. they like they would just live with them, and I, I did like that they. Uh, that they try to herd a whole bunch into a into a uh, quarry at one point, 
but that didn't work. And then they gave up again. Um, Stephen Rockwood says he started watching Fear the Walking Dead gets absolutely awful after around the fourth or fifth season. Man, I didn't make it that far. I got about one and a half seasons in. The problem with a lot of zombie shows and uh, Walking Dead, especially Fear the Walking Dead, would definitely was like this. Is um, uh, it's they're very frustrating. There's a lot of like plot like people become really dumb all of a sudden when they need them to be mm. and uh it, it annoys me so like i don't know it annoys me when someone's got half their face hanging off and they're like trying to bite you and the person is like what's wrong what's like at the start of every zombie movie it's like if you see that in real life, you're either just running in the opposite direction or you're whacking it with something. Like there's no, it's fight or flight at that point. There's no like, oh, I'm going to try and help you. No. But anyway, that's just a minor gripe. Yeah, I don't know. For me, like it, it, it needs different type of zombies. There's only so many times you can go back to like the zombies, uh, uh, the bad guys or the people of the bad guys. Like, give me some different types of zombies, something more exciting than just a, it's a human that will bite you and you'll turn you into a zombie. You need something else. That's well, kind of why I like The Last of Us. Well, yeah, that's why yeah, The Last of Us is pretty good with that in that sense. Yeah, I mean, it's different. Like, I just don't think you can do the plain old zombie anymore and have it be exciting. Uh, John is sharing a whole bunch of links. My disc plate stall, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my sign-up page. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like the mushrooms. Someone was saying earlier that they don't like the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms are dope. I like the mushrooms because it's actually like a real thing. Mm. Um, there are actual real zombie friggin' mushroom things in the real world. I like that. Uh, it adds an adds a layer of, you know, creepiness and fear to it, I guess. Because even if it, even though it's fake, you're still like, what if? Maybe I don't know. Uh, climate change makes zombies. Who who knew? Well, um, back in the day when there was more, I think it was more oxygen in the air you get like insects the size of small cars and stuff like that uh you know the world was a freakier place back then so give me like dog zombies and tiger zombies and zombie that can control other zombies give me something else I just can't handle them Oh, it's a group of humans. Are they good or they bad? Let's find out for for whole season. It's like, it's, I don't care. Stupid, stupid show. Stupid show. Stupid show. Hmm. Well, I st I'm still looking forward to uh, the next episode. So uh, I'm not as upset as clearly a lot of people are, as Camel is about to be when he goes yeah. and watches it. <laughs> Try reading um, book, Rob. No. <laughs> uh, Camel left because someone in chat told him that someone died in the in the show, Mel. So he got upset and left. Yeah, he was like, "Don't spoil it for me," and then it got spoiled. Hmm. He was like, "F this." He did promise that Grumpy Camel was like that. Grumpy Rob was nothing compared to Grumpy Camel. So. He's just keeping his word. So your website, uh, what's the what's the plan there? Well, I was meant to start doing YouTube shorts this week, but I just couldn't be bothered, so I started doing the website instead. Well, that's a good that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. We need, we need a website, man. Like we need websites now. Um, Indiegogo, like like we've talked about to death, is a place that you can't trust anymore. You can't guarantee that things are going to work out. So you need you need a different sales avenue. 
that's yeah that's you can't cool. even guarantee that uh you're gonna um like you're gonna get paid out properly anymore mm. like they can just <laughs> nix it all of a sudden so yeah yeah they emailed me like two weeks ago um oh, let me see if i can find it because it was just like what are you guys doing what are you doing over there let me see if i can find it we have uh Finacha in the house how Finacha? how are you going um awesome one says hmm highlighted names aren't orange anymore oh look at that okay yeah john was saying earlier oh i'm seeing orange oh, i'm seeing orange um yeah some yeah john was saying earlier that he's seeing something weird so maybe some people some accounts are getting like a special preview of what's to come he was seeing all kinds of different colors so i don't know what that was about so this is from the trust and safety team we've noticed it's been some time since we responded to your indiegogo supporters on the status of your campaign replicated three uh so they've opened a ticket they go on blah 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 yeah it's been a while because it was fulfilled nearly a year ago that's why it's been a while you fucking idiots tell us what you really think yeah they're like i i've always said like it's become clear that the the you know the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing over there things are being automated like it's funny because stuff is still being automated as if they're not treating you like a second class citizen mm. but then when you try and actually contact them they're like oh oh so i didn't realize you were the uh one of the bad people uh yes rob did just call them idiots mm. takes one any um one. any updates on the uh was that a, was that a little uh clap back there I was talking about me actually, but yes, sure. We'll go um, with that. Any updates on the uh, on the wheel? No. Any any improvements? Anything? Any movements there? I'll check it. I'll see how many have signed up. No, I mean it's looking it's looking great. We just need to get the other guys to promote it a bit more, um, and that would be that would be awesome. I think the problem is they don't really know how it works is oh one like more it. sign up and we're at 400. oh wow that's sick who out there wants to sign up to the uh great wheel giveaway hopefully someone has a I, again i keep forgetting to add it to the friggin mm. stream link but uh i will i will as well i do i do have to be really careful with the wheel though mike because some of the nails have gone through the back of the the back side so if i if i grab it without looking at it i can nail myself that could be that could make for good uh good youtube i know um so what do you like with indiegogo what are you doing what are you doing like i, I was thinking that the, i don't know if there's any point running like a 60-day campaign anymore is it not better just to do like 15 and 15 and then go in demand that's kind of where i'm what i'm thinking 15 and 15. yeah 15 15. Uh, i'm also thinking of doing something crazy like you do like do the 15 and 15 and then prices go up once it goes in demand i think that's i think that's a good way to go Twenty-four hour campaign says Perth Comics. Yeah, I'm with Boo Branch. I have no idea. I don't. I mean, no one really knows. This is all new territory. Uh, Clint was asking this today on Twitter. Like, what do I do if I do it on my own website? Do I do a Indiegogo at the same time? What if I do a Kickstarter at the same time? What if you have all three running at the same time? What's that going to be like? I think it'll be fine. I don't really think of any other way you can do it. I don't want to be running them consecutively. I know that that's what Mandy's planning on doing. Like she'll run a a uh, vampire hunter one in um, uh, at some point on Indiegogo. 
I think you just like get it all out of the way. But I don't know about fifteen and fifteen though. Too short? Yeah, maybe. Maybe at least I think you know what? Doesn't Graham Nolan do thirty and fifteen? Yeah, maybe. But I think he does I think he does that to get the money sooner. But if you're doing it through Shopify, you get the money straight away. So Yeah. I think Boo Brancher has it. Just go on all platforms for max marketing potential. I mean, obviously, your Indiegogos are going to be smaller yes. because, you know, a, a large amount of people are going to be um, backing on your site now as opposed to Indiegogo. But we did that. We did that. Uh, we did that, um, what's it called? Friggin' uh, poll not too long ago. And at least 20% said, no, I prefer to back on on uh, Indiegogo still. Like I think says, two or three percent says. said they want to back on um, Kickstarter. But I think, you know, I'm not really, I don't really talk that much to Kickstarter people. Yeah, so, I mean, if you did that poll on Facebook with all Facebook creators, I'm sure that it would be completely different. different. But it's yeah. just, you know, Twitter is is Indiegogo and, and CG. That's what it's been. Uh, John says, Nolan also does it because the campaign drags too much at 30 plus 30. I mean, I kind of agree as well. Like, you can't promote it for 60 days straight. Any. yeah it does get to a, like i did 30 and 15 for this latest one and even that felt i mean i know it's a second chance so it's not um it's not quite the same thing but yeah i uh i understand uh brian says i'm still unless battling. you're adding new things all the time which is really can be difficult and expensive and maybe a bit monotonous i don't know uh brian says i'm still baffled by this loyalty people loyalty people have to igg when they're shadow banned in so many of us i don't think anyone really has has loyalty to them anymore but people still use them yeah it's not loyalty it's just they don't care like i know most people in this chat right now probably do care but there's other people, people don't care. They don't know and they don't care. They don't care to know. That's not interested. They're just like, uh, I backed on Indiegogo the first time. Why can't I back on Indiegogo the second time? Like, they don't follow you on social media. They don't watch your YouTube. Uh, they're just, they're just getting books. You know, like, the, uh, you see that a lot. Like, with these shorts I'm doing, I reach to a lot of people who just like, they're not interested in any of this shit. Just yeah. like, they're just watching the movies they're just they're just looking for decent entertainment they're not interested in any of the other stuff going on like they don't know they're not gonna be watching any streams they're not gonna be getting involved in any thing that's happening on twitter just sell them a book and i think you'd be um hurting yourself if you didn't give them that opportunity because they might not like they can tell you straight up like they don't want to back on your site. They want to back on. on uh, Slavic's got a good Indiegogo. question. M Michael and Rob, are you going to try Zoop? Brian tried it. I don't know how he feels about it now, though. Um, you've talked to him since, haven't you, Mike, or not? Um, yeah, I think it just it didn't. Uh, I think it just didn't like pan out, you know, like he didn't get funded or something. I don't think there's anything nefarious going on there. He just, just didn't work out. Maybe. I don't know. Simply green says, I'll still back on Indiegogo for now. Why should I punish creators still launching there for, I, yeah, for their fuckery. Yeah. And that's like, that's perfectly acceptable. That's why I think, I want to say, I think you should consider at least still going there. Uh, still doing a campaign there because there's going to be people like Simply Green and others that are going to back on there. Uh, lots of people aren't. Uh, Brian says had a great experience with Zoop, but there was backlash and gay ops. It seems so strange to me, man.
chaos. Yeah. Yeah. It, look, when you don't, Brian doesn't have a massive channel. He's got a channel, so he has a platform, but it's not a huge platform. And I find that the smaller the platform you have, the kind of, uh, you know, the more vulnerable you are to people sort of spreading shit about you because you can't really like say anything against it very easily. Mm. Um, you know, someone's talking shit about you and you don't have a big platform to like correct the record. It, you know, it's a lot easier to have for them to do it. So, uh, I didn't see any of it, but you know, I don't, I'm not, you know, Brian says that that happened. I'll take his word for it. Yeah. I mean, we, we know that, you know, people will get really, um, tribal, uh, about this sort of stuff. So. But it does seem like, man, that seems like a lifetime ago now at this point. It's, you know, it really feels like everything has kind of been turned upside down pretty much. It's weird though. Like why would they, why would they do gay ups on Brian for using Zoop when there are so many creators using Kickstarter? Like that makes no sense. I don't know. Why does anyone do anything? Hmm. I never know. Everyone's weird. I'm faffing about with a building. I'm going to try and um, do some uh, rock textures instead. Finacha for 10. Holy crap. Sweats is at 973 subs. Man, I forgot about Sweats. I haven't seen him in forever. Uh, he made the Smell of Sleeps Tonight song. Yes. Can we get him to 1,000? He deserves it. How CG. Will you have a link? Is Finatra a mod? I think he is, isn't he? He might not be. Um, please do. Uh, where is he? Finatra. I don't know if he does have a link. A, a mod, a branch. Uh, maybe someone else does. Uh, what are you guys saying? As long as they don't send sweats the link. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just asking a link for his channel. People can go sub there. If um, uh, Michael Camel isn't here, take a break, says Stephen Rock. I don't want to take a month. break. I want to get. I want to get this thing finished. And seriously, this week has just been every day. There we go. Felix Huss has it. Thank you, Finn, for this. When's Mel going away? That's soon, isn't it? March. Mid parties March. or what? Mid. No. What do you mean parties? Drawing parties. Thank you, Finn. That's very nice. He says I'm the man. Finn says I'm the man, Rob. Darko says no one is going to use the CG alternative if it still looks like shit. Which one? So there's um there's Luke's and there's the one that Robert Romano is making. Kegger at Bancroft. No, I'm not cleaning. I'm not cleaning up after all you degenerates. Are you kidding me? Uh, I had gay ups on my Indiegogo campaign too, but thankfully Michael saved us. Me? I saved your ass? That's nice. Although I don't like to hear about gay ops. I really can't do anything on the internet these days without someone trying to mess with it. Um... We got blue in the house. Are you going blue? Michael will feel lost without Mel. Who will mow the lawn? This will definitely, definitely be the longest I've spent away from Mel in, I'm going to say, nine, 18 years, 19 years. I've never been away from my kids. So that's going to be interesting. Mm. Uh, thankfully, we have, you know, FaceTime. So. But yeah, I've been I've been thinking on it. Uh, that's a damn sure. Uh, so yeah, it'll be something. But you know, hopefully, I'll just I'll just focus on back early May. So she's working. gone for like a whole month and a half. Oh yeah, yeah, they're doing a whole thing. Wow, they're, um, that's crazy. They'll be. Uh, It'll be um like her dad has plans, you know, he's gonna take him around and 
do things. You you'll have to see things. You'll have to tell the chat that you need super chat money to hire a lawn mower guy to come and mow the lawn. <laughs> that's that should be my plan. And that then I'll just secretly plan. mow it myself and pocket. Yeah. The, pocket the <laughs> yeah. You should. You know what you should do? You should try and mow it yourself and just do a really terrible job and show everyone in chat. I've mowed, I've mowed before. I mean, how hard can it be? Uh, Mo says the day before Mrs. B leaves, she should be on the show, get mad at Bancroft over something, and say, "Fix this now! I'm going to France." <laughs> That'll happen. She's stressed out as well. She's stressed out that I'm not going to keep the place clean, and she is right to be stressed out. Perth says hire a stripper to mow the lawn and film it. I mean, well, that would. Go down. Great. I mean, in terms of great ideas, that's right up there. Absolute treat. All right. I'm going to go on the hunt for some brushes. Uh, something rock and mountain brush. Let's just, I'm like, this is sometimes this is coloring, just trying shit out. Uh, I don't normally do texture brushes, but Camel uses textures on his rocks, and I want there to be a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, continuity between the two the two pieces so what is this brush i've got no idea okay that's not it uh, let's just look vegetation brushes <laughs> mel says great idea perth great idea mel's approved where do i even get strippers i wouldn't know where to begin where oh, to can, find me, a stripper let me google this hire a okay. stripper to mow, to mow the lawn, lawn. I suppose they work on an hourly rate, don't they? Nothing comes up in the search Got engine. Water splashes, clouds, rock. All right, what is this? Oh, look at that. What does this do? It's not doing anything. Ugh. Oh, I see. I see what it's doing. I don't think that's what I want. It's a bit intense. Is there any kind of effect I can do? Hmm. Has she given you a list of chores to do? Oh, the kids have, you know, they did that, but, you know. Are, are you going to? No, I'm not going to do that. Are you going to do the typical male thing of not cleaning the house the entire time and then cleaning it the the day before she gets back? Um. Yes, I think so. Mm. That's what I did last time. Actually, last time I hired some professional cleaners, and uh, they came over, and there was like six of them, and I was. I was I was either playing poker or drawing or something in the bedroom and I come out and I shit you not, they were like monkeys hanging off the ceiling, like wiping things. It was crazy. They were balanced up on stools and it was bizarre. I just was like it was like a I wish I had a camera to film it at the time. I was just stand there, I was like, All right, and they went back inside. It was it was like a freaking Cirque du Soleil had come, come over to clean my house. So I thought, oh, these guys, and they're expensive too. It was, you know, 260 bucks or something, the full work over. And it wasn't a big house either. It was actually kind of like a tiny little unit. And I thought, great, mm, perfect. Mel will get home. She'll be like, oh, look at this. You know, she'll run her fingers over the, over the shelves and go, wow, so impressive uh that's not what happened she came home she took one look at it and she was like this is a disgrace this is so dirty like literally an hour after an entire team of cleaning monkeys had swooped through the house she's in there like no nah, this is this is not acceptable so i don't know what time it was either it was like after midnight and she'd been flying for 24 hours she gets to cleaning and she's cleaning the house thank god she's so angry at how dirty it is and uh <laughs> and i was like all right well i'm going to bed so 
you do that. And uh, wow. yeah, so she's not going to be very happy with, and uh, this house is like five times the size. I'm not, you know, I'm not hiring. So you'd need like a full army of stripper cleaners to clean the house. Yeah. Yeah. Like 20 stripper cleaners. That's a yeah. lot. Uh, Timothy says, Michael, how many books of your color do you think you're a better penciler or colorist? Colorist, definitely. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. I think I'm not a bad penciler uh, because the pencils you can make look good. Um, definitely a better colorist than like Inca. I mean, that's, you know, no. Yeah. No, I'm really slow though. So yeah, I don't know. You're slow. I'm, like you can see I'm not doing anything, but. Mo says uh, she puts up with all of that and you're still left at a die surrounded by giant venomous spiders with claws. <laughs> First of all, they're not venomous. Second of all, they were on the outside of the car. She was on the inside. She could have just driven away at any time. And yeah, you know, it's all right. All right, what does this do? Yeah. Mm, Jay Ryan's got a helpful suggestion. Get plastic forks and paper plates, no dishes to wash. That's oh, yeah, bad. there will be plenty of that happening. Plenty of that. Don't you worry what about that. What are you going to eat Ryan? for a month and a half, Bankrupt? So she I've already... Oh, this this actually this works. Look at this. This could work. A little bit of texture here. This might actually... Yeah. Okay. Um, I've already thought about that. This is bread I get. It's spelt and sprouted grain bread, which is low carb. Yeah. I've got peanut butter, 100% natural, protein. I'm good. That's all you need. You're not going to eat peanut butter bread for a month and a half, three days a meal, three <laughs> meals a day, three days, three Quick, meals a it's day. It's easy. It covers all the bases. Gosh, should we just send Bancroft? I'll like... be like, uh, I'll be like, um, Castaway. <laughs> I'm up there. They made fire. You know, should we dentistry, guys? Should we put together a collection and send Bancroft like a case of beer and a case of Golden Gay Times while Mel's away? No, she would not. She would not appreciate that. Uh, Eric Grant, finally, Breadcroft and the Ripli Riblicator. Um, yeah, no I'll, food, I'll be no beer. Work. What's he going to eat? Nothing. No. She wants me. She wants to come back and I've lost like 10 kilos or something. That's what she's hoping for. It could happen. Oh, God. Like, it's not completely off the cards. <laughs> Stephen Stephen Rogers says no. I want to see what happens to Michael just taking care of himself. You know what I should do though. I should um grow a beard. Yes, like a Ned Kelly and mohawk. My... Do a mohawk, Bancroft. No, I'm not doing a mohawk. I've still got to go to work, Rob. Oh. Uh. Let me go full screen here. I had this. I showed this off too long ago. I could do yeah. that. You look like a serial could... killer. No, I don't. I look like yeah. a. I look like a, a normal Aussie because all Aussies have this now. It's like the friggin' hipster look. Grow my Ned Kelly beard out. Although it wouldn't be like that now. I'd have gray all see, through it. Do you want to see I look mine? Like Patrick Thomas Parnell. You want to see mine? Oh my god. Look at this guy. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think it's I think I think you're I think we're just a pack of handsome fellas. Do a mullet, Michael. You can be the Aussie Eric Weathers. Mm. Mm, nah. Rob, was that picture 50 pounds ago? Asked Stephen Rockwood. 
No, I was super thin back then. So, yeah, that's what he, that's what he's saying. Oh yeah. Well then, yeah, pretty much. Little baby Rob. Yeah, how I much know. weight I could lose without Mel f- constantly feeding me. The horror. Oh, oh D f- uh, for twenty. Uh, D for the KFC bucket for bank. <laughs> Don't tempt me, D. I love KFC. I love it. Should we Don't start it? We should Thank start you it for the tweet, nonetheless. What's that? Go fund me for Bancroft's food when Mel's away. Hey, go this feed Bancroft. You little ripper! <laughs> Thanks, lads. Um, yeah, maybe we could do that. Have a look. I think that's not that bad. I think that you could do. You, you could, you could, you could make it so if someone gave you a twenty dollars super chat, they decide what you eat for dinner that night. But what if it's like something really bad? What if they like want me to eat mud? <laughs> <laughs> no, like like blood sausage or something. Well, it's got to be something. You, you can go buy. to Taco Bill. I could. I could go to Taco Bell. Would you guys like to see me go to Taco Bell? Stop it, everyone, says Mel. Mo says, go find me for Bearcross Heart Surgeon. <laughs> you are doing the Lord's work, D. Runs with scissors for five. As soon as the wifey leaves you, you will lose 190 kilos straight away. Trick is to keep it off. Well, I mean, as in leaves me, leaves me for good, never coming back. Yeah. So is would... is runs with scissors saying Mel weighs 190 kilos? Is that what he's saying? No, I think he's just implying I would lose a lot of weight. Hmm. Um, take up Malin's diet. I don't think that's working out terribly well for him. Alcohol. I think Malin has a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth too. Uh, I try to curb it, but I'm not always successful. Mel knows that. So, yeah. Blue says, Matt, while you're away, he'll get the house clean, but the toilet will be scarred forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever cleaned the toilet. So there's that. That's going to be that's gonna be interesting. She's like, you got to clean the toilet. I was like, why? You don't need to clean the toilet. It cleans itself every flush. And she's like, no, it doesn't. I clean it. Oh, well, that sounds disgusting. You know? Mm. Uh, what else are you guys saying? Mel's saying okay, fine. Just ignore back. my good advice, says Micra. Yeah, I don't know uh, what it was. I'm getting the Mo treatment now. What was your good advice, Micra? Remind me. Keep him thin, John, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, like Mel's, Mel, like I would be probably 20 or 30 kilos heavier if it wasn't for Mel's constant daily fat shaming. That is true. Mm. So I'm going to have to, she might just have to like send me messages, you know, in the middle of the night, like put it down fatty, stuff like that, you know? I think it's like Camel does really with his wife. Do. Oh my god. Oh, Joe Rowe is a good one. He says, just do your business outside and you don't have to clean toilets. God, animal. Yeah, yeah, but then I then I have to dig a hole and you know. just go do it in the neighbor's yard, then you'll be fine. <laughs> the cats already piss right out the front of our bedroom. The Gross. neighbors' cats. So you you wake up in the morning, especially if it's a hot night. You got the window open, mm. and you get that acidic cat piss smell. Like, oh, fantastic! That's what I want to wake up to in the morning. Well, I mean, that's payback. Yeah, they do it to you. You go do it to them. Just take a dump in their front <laughs> lawn. <laughs> Howdy, good day, neighbor. Everyone likes us around here. 
they like our kids. They think they're cute. I don't know if that's like. Uh, Mo says Bancroft deal. might as well uh, be saying he'll gain five hammers and a sickle. We don't understand these commie measurements. Should I make a a deal like a commitment to lose weight while Mel's gone? No, a no, public. That's... That's lame. Why? So that when Mel comes back, she's reminded of like, yeah, like this is what you've been missing out on. This slim, svelte, suave, Aussie bloke. She's never thought that of you before. This She yeah, has. What, oh, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. When, when Mel day. met me, I was very thin. I would have been... I would have been 80 kilos. Have you ever really been thin with that that head, though? I mean, like that thing is just ginormous. Let me find a photo of me. Where would I find a photo of myself from back in the day? What's up, Vikings Helm? Haven't said hi. Hello, Haven't Vikings said hey Helm. For have, a we, while. have we met Vikings Helm? Um, image light? No. Where is it? Uh, let's go for, let's go for a little hunt here and find a try to gain weight a, while she's gone i think i think that's the way you should that's go what i'm trying it. to that's what i'm trying to avoid um all right let's go back in time no nah, it's nothing really that old damn it i do have the photos they're just locked away in oh here we go well, I, I do have the receipts, but stuff. for whatever reason, I can't produce them at this current moment in time. I mean, Pink everyone was thin God. when they were young, weren't they? I don't know. We have to like go back. I got no idea. I have no idea where to find this stuff. I've, you know, it's like it's on your computer. You got it saved, but where? Who the hell knows? Hmm. It's out there somewhere. Uh, Groken two get is ripped? shutting down. No, I'm not. I didn't get ripped. Groken Groken two is coming down. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't backed it, go back it because it's it's coming down. It'll be gone. Last chance. Um. I was chubby when I was very young, like a kid, kid. But then you know you become a teenager and you grow up and you, you stretch out. I was, I learned very, I realized very early on that I, um, I wasn't going to get ripped. Like when I started working out, uh, like a lot of young men do, I started developing the, uh, the rugby players physique, you know, it was just like, I was just getting harder and more bulk. So there was no definition or anything. There's never going to be a six pack or anything like that. So I was like, I don't know if I want that. Did you do the truffle shuffle? I think everyone did the truffle shuffle when they were kids, didn't they? D says to get on the juice, Mike. That's how to get beefcake. Which juice? Steroids. Mike. Orange juice? Steroids. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Don't you have All to inject of- that? I'm not, all I'm the not all the Hollywood celebrities do it, man. Like there is no way Chris Hemsworth gets that big oh, not course. on steroids. I mean, that's yeah, it goes without saying. I don't even think Mel likes that. I mean, she says she doesn't. You know, I don't know. She might be just trying to uh, not hurt my feelings. But oh, I had a Rob question for you. Are you ready? Oh. Okay. All right. One one of these two actors gets deleted from history and all their work that they've done throughout their career is gone. Mm. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone? Who are you keeping? Who oh. are you keeping? That's tough, man. That's a tough, tough scenario right there. So let's look at this. On one hand, you lose Predator, Terminator. Um, on the other hand, you lose Rocky, 
Rambo. Rambo. Uh, I mean, obviously, they each have their own good movies, like side movies. Hertz says, keep Schwarzenegger. Finagio says, buy Sly. See, the thing is, right, if you, if you got rid of Stallone, you'd be losing Rocky. Like, that wouldn't have been made. That would just be disappeared. But you'd still have... You probably still have Terminator and Terminator 2. Just they might be shit if, if, um, still, if um, Schwarzenegger's not in them. Oh, right. So you could still have them, but it's like played by Dolph Lundgren. Well, that's what would happen, wouldn't it? Like the movie would Steven still be Seagal. made. Yeah. Everyone's saying Stallone has got to go. Delete Stallone. Although Scotty Richard says keep Stallone. Look, I... I like, I love Terminator. I really like Predator. But when it comes to the actors, I I like Stallone. Like, I think Zayn has it. Arnie is a cuck now and Sly is cool AF. Uh, that's pretty accurate. So, yeah. I wonder if they had, like alternates that they were thinking of choosing for terminator and predator i'd be interested to know who they are that'd be that'd be interesting um what's everyone saying yeah predator terminator total recall come on man i agree with you dude i think oh, total I would... recall oh, yeah specials. but total recall the, that that could have been anyone like i think terminator had to be arnie Predator probably had to be Arnie. Total Recall, that could have been anyone. Like Sly that, that, could have been in Total Recall, you know? I think it would have been That's fine. the thing. I mean, that's the question because Rocky is gone. Like that movie would not be made. That would be just gone. Yeah, the because Stallone actually made that. Like that's his yeah. movie. Whereas all the Arnie movies, he just acted in them. Mm -hmm. that's a good point kindergarten cop conan i mean uh, you know arnie's killed it he said some good ones he said some stinkers too they both have yeah jasper points out they remade total recall it was bad yep yeah but was that because the movie was bad or the actor was bad like they tried to get clever and i think that's ethan but i'm not i'm not 100 sure camel moon rules camel left uh ethan because we were talking about the last of us and camel was like no one spoil it i haven't watched it and someone spoiled it and he was like and he just bounced uh he didn't want to grump up the place well, the question we're asking, Ethan, is if you had to remove one actor from history, either Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger, who would it be? Who would you get rid of? It's a typical Rob question. It's a typical Rob question. Uh, Bretsky says, without Stallone, there is no action hero genre. Ooh. That's a big call. Astro mm -hmm. Zombie says, didn't Arnold trick Stallone into doing stop or my mum will shoot? Yeah, and and Stallone tricked Arnie into doing something as well. Stallone tricked Arnie into doing um jingle all the way. So he <sighs> I think it was I think I think Arnie tricked first. I can't remember. It's a very funny story though. Like, and they weren't even friends. They were just no, they were like enemies. Rivals. So it's pretty funny. Back in the day. You've got 95 million people watching right now, Bancroft. Oh. I've got 95 watching on YouTube, and I haven't even said hello to anyone on Rumble. So uh, I'm sorry I'm ignoring you over there, but I'm waiting for Rumble to freaking do a pop-out chat because it's really difficult to have multiple windows open. Uh, guess how many we have over there, Rob? Five. Eleven. Oh, wow. That brings us over a hundred. 
So you need you, you need to do a poll, Bancroft, on this. I think you need to do a poll. Oh right, yeah, polls. I forgot about that. Okay, Stallone or uh, keep Stallone who, or keep um, Arnie. Uh, who do we keep? Um, how do we do a poll? Hang on. Plus, uh, start a poll. Okay, here we go. Just was trying to one up me. He says, "How about?" this michael keaton or johnny depp hmm. so who do we keep or who do we get rid of what do i ask just keep. who do we get rid who, of who, who, who do we it doesn't matter who do we keep all right go on done uh well we keep we keep johnny depp I and mean, michael keaton is great but um keep johnny depp It's pretty split. What do you think of that? What do you think of that texture, Rob? Do you, do you think that works? Just adds a little bit of, yeah. Just adds a little, a little bit of, you know, because without it, what did he, he said it looks like something. Okay, if I turn it off, it's going to turn off. Hang on. Oh, dude, this is this is fifty fifty right now. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a hard question. Yeah. What is going on? Conan is cooler than Rocky, yeah. Jasper's torn, yeah. I think like, it's really, it's really hard. I, I, like I said, I like Stallone more. I think Stallone is based, um, but you can't ignore the like the the impact of some of the movies that Schwarzenegger's done back in the do we, past. do we need a rundown of the movies for people here no everyone knows the movies they've done no, though. if you don't get out i can't believe stallone's 76 man that's crazy pretending to bang chicks in uh, have you watched um tulsa king yeah yeah, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, I voted Arnie, but if a poll was who to get rid of, I would have just voted Arnie because remembering his, yeah, fuck your freedoms quote. Yeah, he's like total soy now. I mean, wasn't he, a, wasn't he supposed to be a Republican at one point? Rob doesn't even know what that is. But... Yeah, very, very disappointing. Uh, Stallone is more influential. First Blood is a masterpiece. Stallone is on the juice. Yeah, they all are, though, to be fair. I think, I think the Rocky character and the stories and the movies, like even the bad ones, are pretty epic. Um, and he won an Oscar for that. Like, people don't remember that. So, um, yeah. And, yeah, First Blood is pretty amazing. He was the governor. He was a Reagan supporter. Yeah, but now he's a rhino, says Bretsky. What's a rhino, Rob? Let's test Rob on his American poli politics. It's an What's animal. A rhino? It's an animal no, no, that in, lives in, in Africa. In a political sense. There's no H in it um it's a republican that's all i've got <laughs> yeah you started off well you started off well republican in yeah no office ah oh, was that republican, close can republican in name only uh but oh. so Brandon won as a republican but all he accomplished was getting rid of the car tax and then he caved yeah in california i mean It just goes to show, like, the power of celebrity that he could become governor of California. Although California is actually, like, pretty red outside of the, um, you know, outside of the cities. Uh, Micah said, Arnie had what? Predator, T1, T2, Kindergarten Cop, uh, Total Recall, uh, Conan. What else did he have? Bancroft's bangers. 
Eurisa, Commando. Twins? Twins, yeah. That was the first. Uh... True Lies. Oh, yeah, no, true he lies had that. No, I was thinking of he had the movie where he was pregnant. Running Man. Running. I love Running. You don't like Running Man. I love Running Man. I think it's like peak 80s trash sci fi. I, I loved it so much. I read the book and I was disappointed. Red Heat. Yeah. Pumping I don't like Iron. those movies. I don't like Red Heat that much. I don't like. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, there was a string of those ones that were a bit. They weren't. They weren't up to the caliber. Although you don't like Commando, do you? Commando is it's fun. It's not amazing. What's um, the name of it's the fun. the guys Australian Benedict. There aren't enough Australian bad guys anymore. I've decided. No, you get more of them happening. Mike, how do you reckon the poll went? Who do you think? Who do you think? The chat wants to. I keep. think Arnie, they want to keep Arnie. That's my guess. You're Do we wrong. end it? They want to keep Stallone, 56%. Oh my God. Wow. 64 votes, too. Not bad, man. Uh, Phil says he's got an Aussie bad guy in Lost Pages Street. Is it based off Rob? Oh, it's Bennett, not Benedict. Bennett. Let off some steam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ooh. I love the uh, I love the uh, Simpsons. Arnie, what was his name again? Oh, jeez, McBain. I McBain. I like how they made it, and it's you can actually play it all in one sequence, and it makes sense uh, across the seasons. Um. Oh, this is, an, this is a good one. Bretsky says someone suggested Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. I don't think that's really a question. I mean, you keep Tom Cruise, don't you? I don't know. No, man, I don't think so. I think you keep Brad Pitt. Mel asks, am I still colouring? Not really. Sort of. Yeah, yeah I'm I think saying... it's no contest. I think you keep, keep Tom Cruise. I mean... So and it's not that's not that's not to put down Brad Pitt. I really like Brad Pitt's actor. I like him as an actor. I don't really know much about him, his personal life, which is probably a good thing. But um, man, uh, I'm keeping Tom Cruise. But that means you're getting that means uh, Fight Club, Bancroft. That means um, I'm sort of done Troy. with. Fight Club. I wa I watched Fight Club all the time when I was a younger man. You know. And I feel like, you know, I'm past that now. Those days are beyond me. Uh, I mean, when I, now when I think Brad Pitt, it's more like, in, uh, I was about to say Inglorious Rex, in, uh, Inglorious Bastards, um, uh, the Hollywood movie. Fury. Camel says Fight Club is for fascists. <laughs> Good fate. Seven Bancroft. For a while. I feel like Fight Club is subliminally quite leftist and i just didn't notice at the time it was anarchist sure but it was was it leftist and because i was a leftist back then and i loved it moneyball Money moneyball is a great movie but i don't know if that was because of brad pitt <laughs> Stephen says we need another bowl to shut rob up all right all right here we go 12 monkeys Ah, oh, now that is a movie you needed, Brad Pitt. He, he really, that's the first time I was like, holy shit. Like Brad mm. Pitt is legit. Snatch. Snatch. Yeah, he was great in Snatch. See, that's Black the thing. Like, I, I think you need Brad Pitt in these movies. You don't need Tom Cruise in these movies. You need Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is like, he, you absolutely need Tom Cruise. Um, Justice right. says Tom uh, Cruise has made more great films. We kick. Yes, obviously. That's why I said it has to be Tom Cruise. Uh, Benjamin Button. Eh. 
I watched that once and I was like, I'm, I don't think I need to watch that again. The movie, Arthur Lyme, the movie. Last Samurai, yeah, that's a good movie too. Oh, I'll watch that again. I love The Last Samurai. Oh, I've got a really, I've got a really hard one. Do you want a really hard one? No, let's continue with what we've got for the moment. This one's great though. Just don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Live, Die, Repeat was fantastic. I'm going with Cruise, Meet Joe Black. I like that movie. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it had its moments. I don't know if it was a great movie, but I liked the concept and I'll watch anything with uh, Anthony Hopkins in it. Of course, Blue's in the chat, like schooling us on Fight Club. The book was a deliberate rewrite of Catcher in the Rye, pulling from Shiddhartha and Damien. Oblivion, yeah, that's a good movie too. I wouldn't. Mel says easy decision for her. What is it, Mel? What's your decision? Who who are you keeping? Mission Impossible. Yeah, I think Mel would be good on this one. Oh, come off it! A few good men almost seals the deal just by itself. Mm. You can't handle the truth. What a great movie. Keep Cruise. I'm, I'm going with Brad Pitt, man. The most underrated. Yeah, because the actor most underrated in, actor in, that you're Hollywood. aware of, that everyone loves and respects and thinks he's amazing. Yeah, that guy. Um, just have a look through Brad Pitt's movies. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe Tom Cruise is right. Maybe he's the right choice. Hyrule is Vice says, Tom Cruise is a Scientology nut. That is true. However, there are very few normal people in Hollywood at all. So... Uh, Bancroft actually sounded American when he he yells collateral like Tom great movie. Reed. Great movie collateral. Jasper points out Brad Pitt, this is true. Bad Brad Pitt has been a supporting character for most of his career. That is true. I if think you think about the great Brad Pitt portrayals. He's almost always a supporting role. He's not a lead man. Excellent point, Jasper. He's not a leading man. I think that seals the deal. Mm, I reckon if you took the top three Pitt movies and put them against the top three Cruise movies, Pitt wins. Fight Club, seven. One other. I think it was... Snatch. All right. In all of those movies, he was not the lead man. No way. Uh, D agrees. Troy, I really like Troy, man. I, I, I enjoy that movie a lot. Sure what are the top three pit movies where he headlines, though? Yeah, well, yeah that's, that's a point. That's a point. Yeah, that's exactly the point. I can't even think of one. Name the movie where Brad Pitt is the, is the main man. World War Z, Fury. Okay. Um, I haven't seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Moneyball. Okay. Well, that's more of an ensemble cast, I think. Oh, no, it's more like Jonah Hill and him together. But, yeah, he's the leading man. He wasn't the lead man in Seven? No, I think that was a, a three-way. Okay. Um, chat has decided to kick Pitt. Cruz is staying. Bancroft, are you ready for the really tough one? Is this going to be... 
Is this going to be uh, it's not Melissa? Ma- it's this is not Melissa McCarthy versus um, Amy Schumer. You ready? Al Pacino, yeah. Robert De Niro. Oh, that's pretty easy for me. Really? Yeah. Uh, that might just be me. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. Who do we kick? Al Pacino, Cuckface De Niro. I mean, Robert De Niro. I wrote Robert the Nerp. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, know how, this, how you spell it, but this one looks this one looks pretty um pretty uh, straightforward. You, I don't want to get this um Nero. How do you spell his name? It is two words. Okay. Yeah, this crowd here. I think you're Rooney's under back. Like, I'm back. What's up, Mooney? I was I was the gonna go on. watch the you know the last the episode. Mm. Yeah, but then I remembered I was watching it with my wife, and I don't want to be upset that I watched it with her. So, oh uh, yeah, just, yeah, that's dangerous ground, man. If you start watching yeah, the show, that you, can watch like, you cheated on me. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know what? I'll just take I'll just take the hit. <laughs> if you guys want to talk about it? That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've moved on now to uh more important things what are we talking about uh so the question is who do we kick al pacino or robert de niro in my mind it's you have to kick de niro and that's not that's not like saying he's not a fantastic actor he is i find it like i'm usually pretty good at um separating the art from the artist uh, but he makes by- it incredibly difficult Kicking from what? From Earth? As in, like, run right existence. Is Bob's questions. Like, if you could, if you have to get rid of someone from existence, do you get rid of De Niro or do you get rid of Pacino? Well, if you get rid of Pacino, you get rid of the Godfathers. If you get rid of De Niro, you get rid of Goodfellas and Casino. And oh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. That... <laughs> Most importantly, <laughs> in the movie with Dakota Fanning. Um, I don't know. I you get rid of heat either way, no matter which heat. one you choose. Heat's yeah. a great movie. I don't know. I think lately, lately, uh, De Niro has gone nuts. You know, he has that severe Trump derangement syndrome. Mm-hmm. I, I I say we're doing the world a favor. We get rid of De Niro. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Yeah. Um, he has yeah. done some absolutely seminal roles though but like when i i actually so, something i like to do occasionally is just watch you know really cool good movie clips and a lot of them involve pacino and i don't know if many of them involved De nero at all um i think i think pacino has more movies that are fun to watch right devil's advocate it's Scarface, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, hoo haw. What's that one? Uh, son of a woman, send of a woman. Um, I'll yeah. take a fucking flamethrower to this place. Dark day afternoon. He also has my favorite, um, sports movie of all time. That speech he does in what did that? What's that? Movie? Oh, any given Sunday. Yeah, that's great. I love yeah. it. Great movie. That's a, great, that's a um, Oliver Stone flick. Yeah, so I ha- I will choose. Uh, you know what's funny out. is I'm I'm not like really into sports at all. I don't really know anything, but I love sports movies. Oh yeah, I'm I the same. Know, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's like I have rarely seen a sports movie that I wasn't totally like just enamored in when I was watching. Like they're all pretty good. I guess it's maybe just because there's a clear like you know divide like. We're the underdogs, or we're up against this, or whatever. But yeah, I always find them very entertaining. I'm the same. Yeah, like it's especially baseball movies. Give me a baseball movie, like I am set, and I would 
you would probably never catch me watching a baseball game ever. So something about it, yeah. I love it. Even um it's uh, Jasper says I love sports docs as well. Did anyone catch um uh, the Wrexham thing? Did anyone see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course. That was rad, you know. I was so into it. I was actually found myself really caring about this team that I, you know, never heard of until then. All right, I'm going to head off, guys. Um, catch you later. Um, yeah, Camel's here. I'm you're Audi. Yeah, not because of Camel, well. but because just so you're not solo, Mike. You know, I don't mind being solo, but thank you for Rob's had a bad back, everyone. So let's thank Rob for uh, coming on and uh, keep working on that website. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll complain to you about something else really basic yeah. tomorrow. You can help me with that <laughs> then. Thanks. <laughs> How do you post See a you guys. link? Uh, in the chat on stream. No, no, I, I was saying as a joke. That's what Rob's gonna be asking next. Oh, yeah. You know? How do I super? <laughs> All right, we're ending the poll. It's definitive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No one wants to kick Pacino. Uh, what's your favorite sports movies? I do like Any Given Sunday. I think mm -hmm. that's quite good. Classic. I like. Yep. I like that one with Brad Pitt. Um, Honey Ball. Yeah, th that was pretty good. You'd have to name a couple because, like, they're really just not coming to mind. I like the Sandlot. I don't know if that counts, but <laughs> pretty. You annoying. know, everyone loves the Sandlot. I'm not like it's. I'm, it's not my favorite. I think it's because I didn't grow up with it. I found out about uh, it okay your age through these guys. I I like it. It's not. You know, I'm. I love the natural. Obviously, Rocky. Um, yeah. I like everyone saying Major League. Major League, I loved that when I was a kid. I, I never liked prefer, it. Uh, it yeah, I, I don't like it now. I like um, I like uh, a league of their own. Oh yeah, I like a league of their own a lot. Uh, is Karate Kid a sports movie? I don't know if it's a sports movie. No. Dragon Pisces. Uh, that's like saying that Searching for Bobby Fisher is a sports movie. You know, it's like uh, it's not really a sport. <laughs> <laughs> the or the uh the queen's gambit yeah yeah uh cool runnings great movie. Yeah. what else is in there you guys are saying mighty ducks you know we had the mighty ducks was called friggin um what was it called it was called something else here in australia i don't know why they changed it mm. but there's so Do many you guys have ones. different name for ducks over there I don't know. They do this all the time. You know, like in Harry Potter, uh, you guys changed it to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, whereas the real name is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And they apparently did that because they were like, we don't think Americans know what a philosopher is. I believe that. Um, <laughs> what's his name? That was like when Noam Chomsky... No, was it Noam Chomsky? And he, he called Trump a demagogue. Like demagogue was the number one search term on google for like two weeks after <laughs> it's like, you know, this is, people just think i don't know <laughs> uh patrick t for five breaking away is the best film sports film of all time now i don't know that by name but i've probably watched it it's forgotten about it breaking away oh it's 1979 i might not have seen this all right i'll check it out it's a 1979 it looks like a bicycle movie. A cycling. All right. I'll check it out, Patrick. I'll watch any sport movie. Uh, even the older ones, they still hide up. Remember the Titans? Tin Cup. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Tin Cup in forever. Yeah, there's a lot of older movies. I remember. Do you remember The Replacements? Is that what it was called? Oh. And and I think that's what it is. And like Keanu, I, mean, Reeves I know the name. It. I can't really remember it. Keanu Reeves is like, uh, yeah, he's I don't know. He's a he's a football player. I think it's that's what's called. Hackman I, in it. The replacements? No, no. This came out in like the mid '90s, maybe early 2000s. I'm looking was, at the cast now. Fine. Keanu Reeves, Jim 
Gene Hackman, Brooke Langton. Oh, John what? Yeah, yeah. Gene Hackman is he's yeah, that's right. He's the coach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't remember much of it, but I remember it being fine when I saw it. Have you seen um oh, what the hell was that movie? What was that movie from it was like Michigan or something? It was a rollerblading movie. <laughs> Uh, Hold on, let me get my Rolodex of (laughs) rollerblade movies out. Uh, Airborne. It had Uh, Seth Green and Jack Black in it. Sounds Uh, great. Get this up. Sounds like total (laughs) trash. It was a. It was the story was a kid moves from Cal a surfing rollerblading kid moves from California to like Michigan or something, and. He's like he can't he can't make friends up there because they're like he's like and he's like whoa dude, but then they they finally like him when they learn he can rollerblade. Mm. So it's uh, kind of like Jack um Black's first. What's that? What's film. that movie? Like she's all that you know, but for rollerblading. Nineteen ninety three. Yeah, all right. Check it out. Hold on, so fucking ads. I who did all the rollerblading was a like a the best rollerblader at the at the time. So yeah, we all we all liked it. Uh Patrick T again for five. If the point of the movie is to motivate, check out breaking away. I well, absolutely will, man. Like I I legitimately they're probably one you know, among my favorite movies, sports movies. Do you Me, remember uh oh go ahead? Yeah, do you remember what? <clears throat> there was a movie that came out. I think with Jim Belushi and it's like, oh. he it's about whether or not he hits this baseball and he hits the baseball. And if he hits it, then his life changes because he marries this rich girl. But if he doesn't mm-hmm. hit it, then he meets the love of his life. You know, it was pretty good, but it doesn't really have much to do with sports, but it was all right. I don't remember what it was called. though. I don't know what that is, but uh someone's brought up a movie in the chat that i made mel watch the first 20 minutes of the other day and we were just we were in a state let's check out the trailer for airborne and then we'll check out that movie once oh mr destiny that's what it was called warner brothers let me tell you what styling is the perfect session a frame wave ground swell i've seen this like three times in your face doing a 360 without a bounce i call it the consciousness razor mitchell's light was his voice that 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 guy so it's it's peak 90s cringe man this is this is the kind of movie my mom would rent for me and my brother when she was going away for the night and I mean, I, I was just like, I'm not fucking watching this. I'm going to watch scrambling let, porn before I watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what Stalin is. It's like catching that perfect wave, man. Oh, God. Uh, lol, I totally remember this. So, Cali. Oh, God. Okay. Keep and this, and these gr- movies were made for girls. They were not made for me. That's actually true. Like, when I think about where I saw this, it was girls watching. Like, we were at a girl's house. Yeah, like, and, and that's why like, it's like, oh, it's the dreamy surfer boy, you know, and like, I, I, I don't want to watch this. What the hell am I going to do with this? I want to watch Dick Tracy. Anyway, check it out. They, and they, they all solve their problems at the end of the movie with a big uh, downhill rollerblade. Oh, uh, yeah, that usually works. Until he woke up <gasps> in Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, it's Cincinnati. Think it's wild, right? They're going to take so your therefore this is Look at this. Hands on Janet, too. <laughs> His cousin wants him to meet his friends. You. Look, what do I Jack Black. You, you used to uh, flush my head in the urinals. <laughs> They're an interesting bunch. I could be else. Remember when they used to do trailers like this? Like if it was a, if it was a quirky movie, they would get this guy, and if it was a serious movie, they'd get the in a world guy. This is the yeah. This is the this. No, oh, we gotta do this now. <laughs> to, oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine this a Californian in Cincinnati. He brought a surfboard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but will they make it for Christmas? Is Christmas Find ruined out. this year? <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Oh, dearest. <laughs> yes, ruin Christmas all you want. He thought that he could surf his way into this girl's that, heart. But he right had there. to learn you needed blades <laughs> up in Cincinnati. Uh... 
Yeah, the only thing that'll melt this snow is going to be the love of whoever. <laughs> uh, but th that looks like Shia LaBeouf there in that, that photo. Oh, this is not. Nah, Shia would have been like yeah, the, five years yeah, old. Little and <laughs> as Mo points out, whoa, that like that guy, the that doing this trailer, like the tone of this film, this film is so indie. Like it is, it's like, it's like uh old school Kevin Smith kind of like it. It's almost depressing how indie it is. Like it is not, it doesn't have this vibe to it at all that they're trying to sell here. Uh, well, yeah, because it was probably you know a, some trailer house cut it right, and they're like, all right, this oh, is yeah, yeah, know. and they're like, now we gotta like exactly, we gotta like sell this to the masses, and and they know like this trailer. is one of the types of movies that would have a poster where it's like two people up against a white background with like big red letters on it <laughs> and they're like somehow like you're like oh, the letters are falling on me <laughs> <laughs> i'll try and find it in a sec. Yeah. let's what let's let's finish you gotta you gotta see how this is like heavy hitting stuff here this part i really like to sleep and i like nintendo they all want mitchell to feel right at home and if it wasn't for nikki how are you? Oh yeah, going after the fog right now. You can tell it's like a shoestring budget when even the the chick they get is, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like you couldn't have picked anyone else at that school. I know. It's just come on. He'd have no reason to stay. Hey, I'm gonna throw up. For the next six months, his days of sun, <gasps> sand. Even that chick was hotter. Have been put on ice. See in school. This movie, like, I don't know if anyone has seen this movie. the The movie that they're portraying in this trailer is not the movie you're gonna get at all. Like this, they got that zany music. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna fall out of a chair. What did someone say? Like Stan Marsh is your average fourth grader. Yeah, like it is not this at all. And what does is, is it like uh like, what what was that movie where you went in thinking he was one thing and then you like left crying my girl <laughs> what? <laughs> you're like what was that like yeah like 10 years old and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> he's dead yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, the people who've seen it, so Sark and SD have seen it, they're like, yeah, it is not a comedy at all, like the, what they're portraying here. And, I mean, I, I get it. Like, it's it's a really unusual movie. I would not know how to sell it either. It's like, do you like angsty, uh, teen, rollerblading bully movies um, that are, like, shot on cheap film uh, that are poorly lit and are set in Cincinnati? Uh, yeah go for it like they were just trying to it's amazingly enough they were just trying to capitalize on the rollerblading craze so they is slapped there a together story like, no, not no. really no in a city where no one yeah, that role that's chris edward we need to win the rollerblading contest to save chris <laughs> by doing what he does best like this it's it's funny, you know, like he's just like, I'm gonna go skate down at the local trash half pipe and do these moves that back then in, in like 93 is you know, this is X Games. X Games is about to start, like a year later. Like mm. this would get you, you would be going on a world tour. It like rollerblading actually started the X Games, it would be massive. And this guy's just like busting these uh amazing moves like he's like the tony hawk of rollerblading essentially but he's he's not he's just a sense he's just a kid wow. who just you know who just you know plays ice hockey and gets water dunked on him by the prep to a little skating race we thought maybe you you don't want to skate in our team no he has one chance to prove himself one final oh. race to win and he's the one who has what it takes to put them over the top airborne <laughs> i think i'm starting to like cincinnati oh my i want to see I this, this exact trailer for die hard 
That would be. <laughs> it's pretty much like that. Yeah. Like, just be like, uh, yeah, this Christmas, only one cop is going to be able to save Christmas. <laughs> you know, it's just like, like, uh, they were there for money, but it turned out they were there for more. <laughs> and then at the end, just have, um, <laughs> you know, you have that shot of John McClane who's like, welcome to the party, pal. And then they just cut to black. <laughs> You know? yeah. <laughs> this is not what I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, Bancroft is trying to draw attention to his own indie film from the 90s, Gleaming the Tube Steak. You know, I didn't make that, thankfully. Is this the movie that made Bancroft want to rollerblade? No. I got into it. Well, everyone was rollerblading in the in the early 90s here, at least. Um, but Everyone. Uh, Taxis were out of business. There was the... <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no, it was it was Mighty Ducks, uh, and but, but I got into ice skating. I got into ice hockey. Everyone was rollerblading and ice skating at the same time, and I just chose rollerblading because uh, ice hockey is hard and expensive. Uh, if this was real, how is this legal? Uh, I always thought Arlo is the Tony Hawk of rollerblading. No way, no. Arlo is no. Chris said, "Well." Chris Edwards at first and then other people afterwards, but uh, Arlo was a legend though. Um, man, there you go. Uh, no, skateboarding existed. Skateboarding was dead in the early 90s. I don't know if you remember that. Like all those big name skateboarders, they were like, they were in trouble. Uh, the X Games remember- really sort of. Well, didn't the 2000s, weren't there a bunch of skateboarders? In the early 90s, skateboarding was dead, completely out of fashion, and rollerblading was massive, bike riding was pretty big. Uh, Because of the rollerblading craze and the extreme sports craze, they started X Games. Tony Hawk was the big guy. He landed the 900, and it all blew up. Right. Uh, And then... He had me watch the start of BMX Bandits. I did. Have you seen BMX Bandits, Camel? No. <laughs> Negative. All right. I'm going to have to show you that as well. No, nah, we're good. Uh, okay. Can I at least show you a picture of it? Show you a this is what I imagine it's like for my wife when I'm like, and then in, you know, 1984, Hasbro put out the secret superpowers action figure line. <laughs> She's like, just kill me. <laughs> you know? All right, get ready to soak in the. What's it? Let me open this image in a new tab. Um, the incredible Australian cinema classic BMX Bandits, early eighties. I just imagine like peak BMX craze, and here comes out the movie all about riding bmx's uh, and mongooses do you recognize that actress is that that almost looks like the girl from robin hood no let me zoom in enhance who is that still looks like the girl from robin hood oh man do i need to get a another you need another shot uh hang on i don't want to i don't want to spoil it for when i'm searching don't look at the chat because they'll um lucy lawless they'll, uh, they'll release they'll <laughs> they'll clue you in i wrote bmx band tits that's not it um come on okay okay this okay we should be able to get it here uh, open image in your tab. All right. Now, if you can't get this, I'm going to have to tell you. Oh, that's Australian Nicole actress. Kidman. Yeah. That's Nicole Kidman. Baby fat Kidman. Yeah, she was real young. When her face was normal. And Did she, she have had work done or just hair. stop eating? Oh, no, she definitely had work done. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, like she was she was I think it was during the Tom Cruise era. Uh you know, she started actually getting older and like she was still, you know, pretty. But she's aging and you know 
too much plastic surgery now. Yeah. It's the Aussie version of Rad. Dude, this film is just, it's as bonkers as that Airborne movie. It's about just like some kids who are riding BMXs who stumble across a plot to rob a bank. And get, of course, they're going to get involved and stop yeah. it with BMXs. Like they need their bikes to ride. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, it's something else. I made Mel watch the first 20 minutes of it and she was like, oh, and it's Mel. so Aussie. And it like, it's Australia before um, mass immigration. Mm. So it's like 100% pure, undiluted Australiana. Uh, like, oh, crikey, true blue kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so many shrimps on the barbie there's so many of them Mel says a waste of my time no it wasn't a waste of your time it's yeah a, it was a history lesson uh god i i uh last night or two nights ago i don't know when I told my wife i was like uh what's it called it was on hbo um graveyard shift you ever seen that i know the comic is there is that a tv show <laughs> no it's not the, it's not the comic <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, maybe yeah maybe, maybe. H- <laughs> yeah that got ripped off along with starlight uh no it was um so stephen king you know novel turned into oh yeah yeah that makes sense and he uh it's about this guy who works at like a cotton mill and like there's like this death so he and it's like um you know it was like i think the movie was made in 1990 but it was like part of that whole like all the bad guys were always rats in the movies in the eighties. <laughs> where it's like, you know, they had Willard and Ben and, you know, there were Ninja Turtles and there was just like, mm-hmm. there was always rats there like, everywhere. It's like infesting Hollywood. So that's what the, the bad guy is. It's a bunch of fucking rats. And so I can't remember. We, we start watching it. I was like, I remember liking it when I was younger. And essentially the guy like falls into a tunnel system and has to fight his way out. And he's just fighting rats the whole time. And it's, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, it's fun. And, you know, we, we just sat down to eat and there's like fucking rat guts all over the place. And I'm like, oh yeah, I kind of forgot about it. This but, up here. Yeah. But the guy I'm watching it. And one of the, the guy, that guy there, great, gray worm or green tongue. What's his name? He's in it. Uh, you know, worm tongue. Worm tongue. Worm tongue. Yeah, he's he's one of the guys. He's one of the exterminators in it. Never heard of this. Never heard of it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really about. I know people love them. It's probably blasphemy. I'm not really about old horror movies. I like the classics, but I'm not going to go back and watch them. It's just I, I'm going to watch something else. I don't. I don't want to watch fake rat guts uh all over the place but this, uh yeah, yeah people it's people a good like one. it it's a yeah. good one. anyway we never got anywhere in it so you know she was like i can't watch this and eat and i was like all right so we stopped and then instead we watched the aviator with mm-hmm. Leo. i don't like that movie i find it quite I, I know I'm supposed to like it. Is that the one with it's, Howard Hughes? That one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it's, it once. I didn't go back. I I don't like it at all. I've seen it two or three times. I saw it in the theater. It's very, it's it's very like fantastical for being a biopic, and Leo is really hard to watch in that. It's like I get that he's a great actor, and I get that it's a great filmmaker and all this, but he's just so cringy because he's OCD and like the whole time it's just him yeah, flipping out of his peas like and it's shit. Just, you're just watching someone's decline. Yeah. 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 And it's like, it's not exactly very fun. And there's only a couple yeah. moments in there where he comes off as very clever or suave and, but it's not worth watching all of the other bullshit to get to it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, yeah, people are great. I agree. Like I'm a big fan of, uh, DiCaprio, I pretty much like everything he's ever in. Uh, but yeah, that movie, yeah, I, I'm not going to go back. Uh, yeah. I agree. Uh, Patrick, Patrick T says, pull up the breakaway trailer, dang it. All right, well, th- we'll play one last thing just because you've uh, you've uh, paid for it, and then we're going to end up the stream. I've got to go to dinner. Camel's got to, I don't know, do something. 
go back to bed do something um let me uh share the screen we'll check it out now patrick you've been promising this is like the bee's knees of sports films so we have high hopes here let's see what it is it's made in the late Rico 70s Giamonte spends eight hours a day training to be the finest should have just taken steroids but enrico has a problem he's not in italy he's in bloomington indiana <laughs> And he's not Enrico Giamonde. I should have hit him when I had the chance. He'd be dead now. Oh, God, dear Santa Santa Maria. He's Dave Stoller. He was as normal as pumpkin pie. And now look at him. But Dave's not crazy. He's never tired. He's never miserable. He's on the road to adulthood. Is this selling the film? Tired and miserable. Patrick? King Papa. And he's decided to take a little detour at the age of 19. What are we going to do about it? Oh dear, we could always strangle him while he's asleep. 20th Century Fox presents Breaking Away, the story of four That's guys fun. in imminent danger of turning 20. All right! How you doing, guys? Well, we're a little disturbed. This came out after Star Wars, race, didn't it? Who refused to give up immaturity without a fight. Smart move, shorty. Oh my god. <laughs> that, what's his face? That looked like the guy who played worship. Why you up? Wind up a bum. Italian bum. I'll tell him he either has to get a job or go to college. Hell, I don't want to go to college, Dad. To hell with them. What are you afraid? A little bit. The only thing I'm afraid of is wasting the rest of my life with you guys. I thought that was it's, what's his face. That we were gonna waste Can't the rest of his our name. lives together. Famous. I'm leaving soon. Camel, <laughs> checking out. Patrick, you're not impressing oh, Camel. Nice it's called Breaking Away, Norn Rad, and apparently it's the I'm best sports in. movie ever made, according I don't know to Patrick. About that. T. He's the only one who thinks that. He's the only one who's seen it. I don't know, Patrick. I don't know. I think we've watched enough. Oh my God, Breaking it's away. Camel, Is it over? You, Please tell me it's over. <laughs> How many? You got you to come up with a Camel Moon rating system if you're going to be critiquing movies. Like, you need to give it, like, how many humps? <laughs> it's, one, hump. it's one, one diseased hump. Uh, mangy hump. Well, I, I've already given a, you know, there's a fuck this shit, you know, so I'm fine mm. with that <laughs> if it's terrible. What's the next one going to be? People um, are impressed, Patrick. I'm sorry. It's funny because I, I was thinking of um, doing the menu. But see, it's only good if I do a review if I'm hot off the movie. So, like, I all the things You're that piss me off. Fiery. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't do the menu now. I don't remember half of it, and it doesn't bother me anyway. I don't care. You should so, totally do the ep th episode three of Last of Us. Well, let's see if it if it pisses me off enough. Um, I I have been hearing, though, that this movie, um, is it called You People? It's the... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, where it's like, yeah. he's a white guy, and he's dating a black woman. <laughs> so he's yeah, yeah, racist yeah. racist to him the whole time. He's like, right. so, <laughs> how dumb I, are white people? Oh, my God. They're so... Yeah. They're not cool. I might watch yeah. that to see if it's as bad as people are saying. Uh, but, you know, it's tough, too, because I don't want to go in hate-watching. I went into Barbarian wanting to like it. I was yeah. excited for it. And then I was just like, what is this? So, it, you know... And the other thing, too, is... Mike... Or not Mike, sorry. Um, Rob suggested I do M Malignant or whatever. I can't mm -hmm. do suggestions because if I do suggestions, then it's like I've it's already been tainted for me. I already know that there's something that pisses people off about it. I have to like find the movie myself and just do it. Um, otherwise, there's like you know outside input that's gonna it's, it's sway things. Yeah, it's impure, right? Exactly. So. Uh, Patrick T says, "Watch the movie, you dummies." Thank you for the super chat. Patrick <laughs> T. It Bob does Dolly. actually. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, Lethal Diva says uh, it's got 95% score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is, that was hard oh, yeah, to get was... back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day, that was hard to get. If it's an older film, uh, so that might actually, and don't judge Airborne. Like, just like you can't judge Airborne by that zany trailer. Uh, probably can't judge Breaking Away by that zany trailer. But Lethal Diva also says Barbarian was a great film, Camel. A great, not a good film a great film it's like schindler's list oh yeah uh shawshank Lots redemption <laughs> barbarian yeah i forget the order of that i'll also chalk that up to uh, let's see this is a uh, reason eight 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 nine seven three four that i disagree with something lethal diva has posted so <laughs> well done well on that i think we're gonna end it uh it's been fun i got almost no work done but it's been fun and mm. uh i will see you all tomorrow uh, about the same time on rob's uh we'll be doing our stream maybe rob will have done another put another image on his um on his website uh and then i'll see you the following day uh for my shows and also of course the video game show what do, do you know what we're playing uh well i'll we can uh decide we yeah, can, okay that's cool well we have to we do have a... we we have thing the ones that we've downloaded right so we could do the battle toads which was quite fun but mm -hmm. if we did something like uh donkey kong which i'm down for but that would have to be split because we're not going to beat it in one night so yeah yeah it's a it's a big game uh, and patrick points out breaking away got 95 percent before the weighted scale nope oh. Uh, yeah, no, that, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, Rotten Tomatoes used to be, like, they rate some movies that I really like from the 80s as, like, 25%, because, you know, critics don't like shit. But uh, I'll check it out, Patrick. I'll let you know uh, how I go with it. Uh, okay, thank you, Camel. Thank you, Rob. The biggest thank you of all goes out to the wonderful, amazing, spectacular, and always phenomenal sexiest chat in cg uh, I, I got to i forgot to play this for rob oh i had it loaded up and everything i was going to say hey rob we knew you could do it no, no you could play that for him every day though so. i know <laughs> all right see you guys bye. bye bye individually we are weak like a single twig but as a bundle we form a mighty family